and when you fast. Do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. To have a powerful effect on your spiritual life during Lent, you need to follow certain exercises, which, when you put into a life situation, would help you benefit from your fast. One, to exercise giving up a specific sin from the sins that prevail upon you and which is repeated in many of your confessions. Two, to exercise learning some psalms from the Ag Agbeya prayer book. You may choose one or two psalms from each of the seven prayers, especially the psalms that leave an effect on you. Three, to exercise learning the Bible readings of the different hours, divide them into parts, analyze them, knowing that for each prayer there are three or six parts. Four, to exercise the mental prayer of what you have learned. You may pray during work, on the road, while with people or at any time. Five, use these prayers, psalms and Bible readings as a sphere for contemplation to enable you to pray them with depth and understanding. Six, to exercise spiritual readings either by plentiful readings from the Bible regularly with understanding and meditation or reading the lives of the saints or some spiritual books so that you gain a profitable yield of deep readings. Seven, during Lent, you may exercise learning the hymns of Lent and the Passion Week and repeating them until you are full of their spirit. Eight, you may exercise a certain level of fasting under the supervision of your spiritual father. Nine, there are many spiritual exercises in the field of dealing with people, such as gentleness, patience, enduring others' weaknesses, controlling anger, using words of praise and encouragement, serving and helping others, kindness and meekness. Ten, other exercises in purity of the heart, such as modesty, inner peace, love of God, being satisfied without grumbling, quietness with no disturbance, internal joy in the spirit, faith and hope. I hope you're following what I'm saying. Let's continue. Once when I was on a retreat in a monastery in Ireland, I greeted one of the monks. How are you, Father? He replied. There is still a bit of the devil in me. It sounds funny, but it expresses a truth about all of us. There is still a bit of the devil in us, because we have not yet fully overcome sin. Jesus spent 40 days in the desert overcoming the devil, and Lent is a time for us to get rid of whatever bits of the devil remains in us, by overcoming sin in our lives. Whenever we sin, we have forgotten who we are and what God has done for us. Remembering who we are and what God has done for us helps us to keep away from sin. We overcome Satan by putting God first in our lives in every way. The three quotations from Deuteronomy cited by Jesus when talking with Satan in the Gospel remind us of putting God first in everything. What does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. And you shall worship the Lord your God, and Him only you shall serve. And you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. When we put God first in everything, and live by the word of the Lord instead of living from the bread of the world, then we fast from fee, feast on faith. Fast from despair, feed on hope. 
Fast from depressing news. Feed on prayer. Fast from discontent. Feast on gratitude. Fast from anger and worry. Feed on patience. Fast from negative thinking. <coughs> Feast on positive thinking. Fast from bitterness. Feed on love and forgiveness. Fast from words that wound. Feast on words that heal. Fast from gravity. Feast on joy and humor. So try and meditate on what I just said and experience the spiritual blessings of this great Lent. Let us pray together. Father, through our observance of Lent, help us to understand the meaning of your Son's death and resurrection and teach us to reflect it in our lives. Lord, protect us in our struggle against evil. As we begin the discipline of Lent, make this season holy by our self-denial. May the light of your truth bestow sight to the darkness of our sinful eyes and our repentance bring us to the blessing of your forgiveness and the gift of new life. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.